Hey, I'm at Mount Dora. And I'm, if you're looking at this, it's a 360 degree video. Um, and I'm gonna turn the camera around. <laughs> I'm learning how to make this friggin' thing work. All right, I'm at Mount Dora, down on the waterfront. You can see the the um, lighthouse over there, the classic lighthouse. And that music that you hear in the background is the Mount Dora Seafood Festival. And so I'm going to walk through that in a minute. We'll see how this works. This is 360 degrees, so you can swipe, swipe either way with, if you're using a phone or tablet, or you can use your mouse and swipe left and right to see the full 360 degrees. This is Vance Yoakum, <clears throat> your fiscal ranger. But today we're down in Mount Dora to see how this 360 degree camera works and with that I'm going to start walking around a little bit all right so we can get face and body painting and we can get wine which I already have right here at the winery <laughs> Island Grove Winery. And we're walking around the Seafood Festival in Mount Dora. That's where we're at. That's Mount Dora, Florida. It's about 40 miles west of, of um, Orlando, Florida. There's event staff. So, now this just started at 11 o'clock, so we're going to see how this works with the sound. I'm using a microphone, and again, this is a 360 degree video, so you can swipe left or right uh, to see around in the whole area. You know, this is a seafood festival, so the crowds are starting to arrive. The parking is already a pain because Mount Dora doesn't have any decent parking. And so it's going to get quieter. I'm going to walk up the hill here where all the food vendors are. And she's signing petitions. I'll have to find out what the petition is. When you're seeing somebody signing petitions this early, before elections, and the petition would be on the ballot next year, you can bet it's something it has to do with marijuana or something like that. Ah, we got a pirate here. Yo ho, right, matey. For you. you do. Why aren't pirates good at the alphabet? Why aren't pirates good at the alphabet? Because we always get lost at sea. Ah, <laughs> ahoy, matey. All right. Oh, and these guys, they, they got the big vehicle. <laughs> all right. So now we're going uphill. This is all the food vendors, but I already have my wine. And we got sushi. Since this is a seafood festival, you can see people are Jerk chicken. I don't know exactly whether they got any fish. I don't see any fish. <laughs> it's all. Oh, there is fish grilled. Grilled fish. Okay. But 
they snuck in here and have hardly any fish. Conch shack. So we've got food vendors, we've got music down here. By the way, the website and some of the advertisements they put out does not say that this is free entrance. So come on down. The parking is a pain. On oh, Pisces Rising. What kind of food do you have? They have food right down there. We've got fish tacos, shrimp tacos, shrimp poke. Okay, great. Okay. All right. So that's Pisces Rising, which the locals know is down near the waterfront on Lake Dora. Okay, now this is early because this, this event just started at 11 o'clock. So people are arriving after they get out of church and everything else. And also the parking is terrible in Mount Dora. So we'll stop in a minute, we'll tell you, you can go to the uh, Mount Dora Bible School and they have parking there and then you have to pay $5 for a van that comes down here. So, Okay, once again, we're in Mount Dora at the Seafood Festival. This is live, 360 video. So you can push it left or right and see what's happening. Okay, LASIK vision. Now there are more booths. Again, the uh, entrance is free, so there are booths uh, further down this road, which is Charles Avenue. Yeah, I'm not going to go down there, but you can go down. Now that's the Mount Dora parking structure. It's already filled. The bottom level is for handicapped only, and so they do have some open spaces. Uh, the upper level, I was able to sneak in and somebody just left. I can see an empty space up there now, so... But you have to know how to get there. That's a secret. Only us locals know how to get in there. Okay, we got some more pirates here. All right, mate. Have a good day, all right? <laughs> so cool. Okay, so down Charles Avenue, down further down by the boat marina, there's more booths. And so we're going to turn around. Okay, this is the Lakeside Inn. The locals know where that is. They also have some booths in there. Now the city, this is interesting, the city has uh, got um, open and a lot of shops are open. And they moved this event, you, they used to have events like this up in the town of Mount Dora. But then it kind of took away all their parking and everything else. So what they do is they use this festival as a attractant to get people to come into Mount Dora, which is up there. And all the shops and they're open. And uh, so you can come in. There's Lakeside Inn. They've got a few booths in there. Mount Dora Code Enforcement. Uh-oh. And here we go. Again, this is a 360 degree video, so you can swipe left or right with your mouse or with your finger uh, on a touch phone or whatever, and you can see a 360 degree view. So I'm showing you what I'm looking at and not pointed at my face, but you can turn, you can swipe left or right and you can see my face. Okay, so. Here's just a little quarter. That plate of shrimp would be no twenty dollars. 
Okay, and so here's Lakeside Inn. 12 years ago, I flew in here from a job I took, was overseas, and I flew in here and stayed at the Lakeside Inn while I went house shopping, and I ended up buying a house within three days. Um, of course, it took about two months to actually do the closing, but this is all by fax. Jesus. You gotta watch out with these city people, man. They're everywhere. <laughs> They'll run you over. <laughs> okay, I like having... Okay. Oh, they got an official shirt. There's the official shirt. And the parking. I'm looking for the parkings. Okay, Mount Dora Christian Academy. It's at 301 West 13th Avenue. There's the map of all the events. And uh, they also have a website, which is mountdoraseafoodfestival.com. And even if you can't come this year, you can put it in your calendar for next year and then schedule it. Um, if you like seafood, this is the place to be. What? All what? A, all dresses on sale for ten dollars. Ten dollars for one hour until one when? Hour. For till one o'clock. Till one o'clock. Yep, oh, look at that! And there they are. All dresses, dresses for ten bucks. Ten dollars for one hour. And the regular Anything. price is fifteen. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Fifteen. All right. Thanks. Thank you. And that's Divas Paradise Bouquet Boutique. Mojo Turkey. Okay, again, this is a 360 degree video, so swipe left or right with your mouse or your finger, and uh, you can see the whole 360 degree view. And once again, this is the Mount Dora Seafood Festival, and it's uh, where it's Sunday, August, what? 26th or 27th I don't know but anyway it's Sunday <laughs> and I'm filming this live and uh, I'll post it right away to Facebook <clears throat> all right and so here's some more oh registering you to vote that'll be real interesting Hi. Hi. Who are you voting, uh, registering for? We're, uh, we're doing petitions and or by registration. Um, uh, the petitions are for uh, to restore the right to vote to non-violent ex-felons after they've served their sentence. Oh, okay. All right. Are you registered? So you're doing both. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm registered. Are you? Um, uh, tell me a little bit about why you think that felons should be able to vote. Because they're still citizens and they've done, they served their sentence. So why should they lose their right as citizens? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> so, and there's another one. You're just fo getting followed by. <laughs> okay, we got. Here's the chicken chicken kebab. That's not fish. Funnel cake. That's not fish. And it's not fish. Oh, they got lobster and shrimp. Okay, so they're okay. They got lobster and shrimp up there. Fish tacos. Lobster mac and cheese. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got the steamed platters. Fried Admiral's platter. Crab cakes. Coconut shrimp. So they definitely got a lot of seafood. Okay, this is the end of this segment. Bye.